Hey, welcome to 12 Tone Building Blocks, our monthly series about the fundamentals of music theory. We've been talking a lot about dominant chords, but we've really only scratched the surface, so today I'd like to look at another cool thing you can do with them, the tritone substitution. This is where the dominant seventh resolves to a chord a half step below it, and it sounds pretty cool, but... How does it work? Well, let's take a step back and look at how normal dominant resolutions work. Typically, we expect them to resolve down a perfect fifth. This happens because of two notes. First, there's the leading tone, a note a half step below the root of the key that really wants to resolve upwards, and then there's the fourth degree, a half step above the third, which wants to resolve down. Together, these two notes form the engine that drives dominant resolutions. In our B7 chord, those notes are D-sharp, the third degree of the chord, and A, the flat seventh, and they're a tritone apart. The tritone is a really dissonant interval, but for our purposes here, what's more important is that it's symmetrical. Going from D-sharp up to A is a tritone, but going from A up to the next D-sharp is also a tritone. But here's the thing. D-sharp sounds exactly the same as E-flat. They're just two different names for the same note, but if we spell it like that, suddenly we don't have the tritone from B7 anymore. Suddenly, we've got the third and seventh degrees of a completely different dominant chord. F7. This means these two chords are pretty closely related. After all, sharing is caring, and what could be more meaningful than a dominant seventh chord sharing its only tritone with a friend? And since the tritone is what makes resolutions work, these two chords can basically just pretend to be each other whenever they want. It's the perfect disguise. That means that if we want to resolve to E, we could use a B7 chord like normal, but we can also swap in its partner in crime, the F7, instead. This gives us that half-step resolution from earlier, and you know what? It still sounds pretty cool. As for the name, I've heard a couple different explanations. Some say it's a tritone substitution because you're substituting the other dominant chord that has the same tritone, while others say it's just because in practice the roots of the two dominant chords are a tritone apart themselves. Either way though, it's a great tool and the half-step motion in the bass gives you a smoother, more relaxed resolution that's just as strong without being quite so dramatic. You can even combine them with two fives, which we talked about in our last video. A normal two five resolution sounds like this, but if you swap in the tritone sub, you get what's known as a chromatic 2-5, where the bass just slides down a half-step at a time. Chromatic, for the record, is just a fancy word for half-steps. Well, actually, that's not quite accurate, but it's close enough for now. Chromatic 2-5s are a really cool complex sound that has a bit more motion than a normal 2-5, but carries a lot of the same weight. That's pretty much it, but before we go, I wanted to do a quick announcement. This is probably the last Building Blocks episode, at least for a while. When I started this side series, my goal was to cover the fundamentals of music theory, the sort of things you'd learn in like an undergrad Theory 1 class. I wanted to explain the concepts and terms that I generally assume my audience knows in the main videos and create a library of resources for them to turn to if they needed a bit more information and honestly, I think I've done that. Not that I've covered everything there is to cover, of course, but I think that most of the things I haven't already done are topics that could stand on their own in our main videos, so I've decided that what's best for 12 Tone is if I instead focus my time and energy on making those as good as they can be. I may still make the occasional Building Blocks video as a bonus when I have something I want to cover in this more straightforward format, but I don't think it should be a monthly feature anymore. I did what I set out to do, and now I'd rather devote my time to other parts of the channel. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you want to help make these videos possible, please consider supporting 12 Tone on Patreon or checking out our store. You can also join our mailing list to find out about new episodes, like, share, comment, subscribe, and keep on rocking.